is dropped into this world, and through her eyes, you are experiencing everything for the first time. <laughs> they knew when I did Avatar with Weta that Alita would not only be possible, that as a character, she would be spectacular. Hi. When we were making Avatar, I would tell people we don't need to be photo real because you can't tell me what real is on Pandora. We only needed to be photographic. For Alita, we're on Earth. Alita needs to be photo real so that she can stand right next to Christoph Waltz and look together of one in the frame. Alita is probably the most ambitious digital character that we have created. That's so good. There's no better way of doing that than capturing a performance from a real human. Performance capture gives you the body and the weight and the realism of the expressions. The way the performance capture process worked is we had a number of cameras placed around the set that would record markers on the actor's physical body. The system would interpret that marker and put it into three-dimensional space and create a skeleton to go inside a CG model to drive that CG model's performance. This body, it has the power I need. I feel a connection to it, I can't explain. This could be who I am. It takes some getting used to. You're wearing a helmet with mic pack, battery, microphone, a titanium boom, a recorder. You're zipped into the suit and you have gloves. It's all the difference in the world for us, being able to work on set and actually capture an actor in a proper environment. Because you just get a better performance from the actors. Performance capture tends to lend a lot of credibility because you get all of the weight, you get the physics. That also needs then to be taken to the next level when you talk about something like representation of manga. We really wanted to be able to take this augmented animation hybrid and layer it against the performance capture to attain sort of the best version of both worlds. What changes it from being motion capture to performance capture is that simultaneously with capturing the body's performance, we are capturing the facial performance. It's all about this. If you can make the audience believe that that character is real in a tight close-up. Rosa would wear two high-definition cameras as a head rig that would photograph her face. Weta would interpret those images on a frame-by-frame, frame, almost on a pour-by-pour pour level, to drive the facial performance of the character of Alita. Every pull, every indent, every scar, every crease, things I wish they didn't put in, are there. It's like looking at me, because every little nuance of my face is there. <coughs> Touch him again, and I will kill you. It's amazing seeing Rose's spirit, her light, come through the Alita character. My hope is that when people are watching this, they sort of forget that she's a CG character. I'm a warrior, aren't I? You know, you've always known. I think we've been able to create a seamless blend of live action and synthetic action in one single frame. That was pretty intense, huh?